Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor and I'm a personal trainer in Dallas. A majority of my videos are based around fitness, nutrition, the occasional clothing haul, and the occasional vlog. And this week, I spent my entire week hopping around thrift stores and trying to find active wear. And I know that I have been a victim <laughs> of going online and spending an arm and a leg for really expensive and popular leggings and sports bras and tops. And I just wanted to show everyone that you can get name brand activewear at thrift stores and at cheaper places than from the manufacturer themselves. And I have been on a huge thrift haul kick. I love watching these videos. So I thought that I would kind of put my spin on it and make it into an active wear thrifting video. So if you are interested in this video, keep on watching and let's get started. I have you on my car mount and I just ordered it from Amazon. I can link it in the description box below. It's a little sketchy. I mean, it seems really heavy duty, but to put it together, it was quite a hassle and there's not a lot of pieces to it. So maybe it's just user error, but I am sitting in front of the first thrift store it's goodwill and it is a donation center along with things that you can buy there i went for workout equipment so i could have extra workout equipment in my car for my clients um however there wasn't a lot but i did find this ab destroyer <laughs> um, this thing kills i definitely need to clean it um it's definitely seen some days but it was only like 3.99 so i was cool with it and then I went in obviously for active wear, but there was only one rack and there was probably maybe eight pieces and they were very questionable pieces. Um, I think I saw underwear up there, like somebody's boxer brief. So I didn't want to try any of that. Okay, on to the next door. <laughs> Okay, it is the third day of fall, I think, and it's still 84 degrees outside. It is so hot. But I ended up walking out with one shirt from World Thrift of Dallas. I think that that was the second thrift store that I went into. They actually had a really great selection. They did have one item there, and I believe the designer was Zella, um, which I have seen at Nordstrom's Rack, so I know that that would have been a really great item to thrift. However, it wasn't in my size. And then they had tons of Nike. They had tons of Under Armour. They even had Adidas and Adidas pants and joggers, um, Nike dry fit leggings. So this place had tons of workout gear, but not all of it was in my size. Hello, it is Wednesday. So Unfortunately, today I only have a little slot in my day in between clients to go to one thrift store. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm actually here at the parking lot of Plato's Closet. I'm like pointing with my chapstick. Give me one second. Okay, so I am gonna go in here. I have personally purchased different clothing items here. Not shoes, because I'm really weird about purchasing used shoes, but I have definitely purchased summer clothes. I've tried to sell my clothes here. To be honest, I find that Plato's Closet is a thrift store. They have multiple locations throughout DFW and I'm sure throughout the US. However, they're so picky on what you can sell to them because they will buy your clothes, but they they want you know certain items and I've tried to sell so many clothes to them and I just don't get offended because I already know that they're not gonna take any of my stuff um, which is fine but then sometimes I shop in there and I'm like wait you didn't take my stuff but you took this so comment down below if you have been to Plato's Closet and you can relate <laughs> that these shorts didn't work out because I really wanted them to add 
a little spice of color to my wardrobe. And this shirt was absolutely adorable. However, it was really, really skin tight and not that comfortable, but I would have saved a lot of money on this top. And I'm about to show you the back. It is so cute. The fabric was awesome. It just was way too small for me. Good morning, everybody. You are super zoomed in. I apologize for that. Ooh. Oh, oh, wrong way, wrong way. And now I am going to knock out two more stores and then I think that I'm going to call it. The Thrift Giant actually had a 50% off store wide sale yesterday. So the same day that I found out about it and I didn't have time to go to that. So I think today some tags are 50% off, but then some are only 25% off. And then as the weekend starts to arrive, the deals get better and better, but I think I need to go today and we'll just hopefully find something that is a, a deal. get the banana suit or to not get the banana suit I don't know if you could hear me but I saw a banana suit and I'm smiling because I used to have a banana suit this is a story time a really short story time so in high school for homecoming week you would have every single day Monday through Friday there would be different themes and one of the themes one year was twin day so me and one of my old friends, we decided to go to Target and get banana costumes and wear them together. So twin day rolls around, I'm in my banana suit at school, I have no backup clothing whatsoever, and my twin, who's supposed to be the second banana, doesn't show up to school. I quickly got rid of my banana costume because it was a sore subject, and but then it gets better. I walk a few aisles over and there is a Christmas sweater and it's two sweaters sewn together <laughs> so two people can be in the sweater. Now the plan is to go to a kind of like a sports equipment, fitness equipment thrift store. It's called Play It Again and I'm not really sure how far it is away. I know it's not in Dallas. I'm going to go ahead and head that way. and. If I get anything from there, I will show you with this whole clothing haul. And if I don't, then I'll update you on that too. This was the first shirt that I purchased for this video and it was $6.99 at Thrift World in Dallas. And I absolutely love it. It is two sizes too big, but I'm gonna go ahead and crop it. The material is so airy and that little dainty Under Armour logo is the only thing that that shirt has on it. And I'm really excited to wear it on days, especially whenever I feel bloated. This sports bra is an absolute staple. I purchased it at Thrift Giant and it was originally $8.99 and I got it for 50% off. And it is a small, I would have liked if it was a medium, but I love the crisscross in the back. It really is a high support sports bra. Love the Nike logo and I'm really happy with this purchase. Online, this sports bra would go for $30 to $35, depending on where you purchased it, so I cannot believe I only purchased it for $4.50. This brand I had never heard of before, so I went and Googled it, and it is Noble Outfitters, aka Noble Equestrian, meaning that these are the shirts that equestrians will wear when they're riding their horses. I purchased this shirt for $4.99 and it retails for $54.99. How insane. I absolutely love it. I think that it would be a perfect weekend top and I'm really happy with this purchase. I really like how feminine the mesh panelings and the zipper makes this shirt. I think that this will be a super airy shirt to wear and I am telling y'all if you go thrifting and you have never heard of a brand before, Google it and you may be surprised at how expensive these clothing items could potentially be. I purchased this tank top at Plato's Closet for $8 and I really do like it. Even though it's a plain black tee, it doesn't make me feel super boxy and it has a nice feminine neckline. It almost looks brand new other than all the dog hair that I've already got on it. 
but I really do like it. All the stitching is where it's supposed to be. I like the little back detail and it's just a really nice lightweight shirt. This top was also purchased at Plato's Closet for $8 and I just love the stitching and the color and the texture. It's really feminine and I know that muscle tanks and tees can be kind of hard to feel really feminine, but I love that neckline. It's just such a breathable and soft fabric and I know that I'm going to be wearing this a lot. Both of these tanks range from the $25 to the $30 range at any outlet store or any sports store, so I think we got a steal. And speaking of steals, I saw these exact pair of shorts at the Nordstrom's rack near me and I was about to purchase them a few months ago and then I said no, hold off, and what do you know, I own a pair finally for half the cost. I think Nordstrom's was selling them for $25 and I purchased them for $9. So again, a steal. And I know that these aren't the most flattering shorts for everybody, but I do love them. I love to work out in them and clean in them and run my errands. And they're really, really airy and really nice. I guess I really like airy clothes. <laughs> And these, I do not own a pair of these at all. I purchased both shorts at Plato's Closet, but these were a little bit more expensive. These were $11 and I don't own anything rainbow. So I was really excited to add something like this to my wardrobe. They are a little big, but that's how I like them. I like to fill some stretch in my clothes. Again, they're super light, very gently worn, and I overall think that these were a great buy. Overall, I think this was a success. I know I saved so much money on name brand, gently used activewear, and I love everything that I got. I should have mentioned this in the earlier stages of this video, but I didn't really just want to spend money to spend money. I wanted to make sure that I was purchasing things that I would wear and I genuinely loved. And I know that a lot of it was pretty neutral and blacks and grays. I did get the rainbow pants and I did get the pink shirt. Um, but I love everything. I know I'm going to wear everything. I am kind of bummed that I didn't find more sports bras, leggings, and joggers. So if you want to see another activewear thrift haul video, go ahead and leave a comment and a like below and I will get working on that for you because I know that there's so many other options that people are donating and trading and selling every single day. So I'm all about it right now. And I would love to show you that you don't have to spend an arm and a leg on brand new activewear when there is something that's just as great at your local thrift store. <laughs> So, oh, and I wanted to say, I washed everything before I wore it. I washed everything because I work in a gym setting and I have seen some things and I'm definitely a germaphobe now, borderline, I guess. So, I washed everything, but I hope that y'all had a great time watching this. I had an amazing time with filming this and getting out of my comfort zone and going to school some sketchy locations, uh, but it was fun and I cannot wait to see you guys again. Make sure to drink your water and do something that makes you feel good and I will see you next time. Bye. Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions, get to know you better. Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted? Thank you.